Lille is a city in the northern part of France, in French Flanders. On the Doule River, near France's border with Belgium, it is the capital of the Hauts de France region, the prefecture of the Nord department, and the main city of the Métropole Européenne de Lille. As of 2017, Lille had a population of 232,787 within its administrative limits, and Lille is the first city of the Métropole Européenne de Lille with a population of 1,146,320, making it the fourth largest urban area in France after Paris, Lyon, and Marseille. More broadly, it belongs to a vast conurbation formed with the Belgian cities of Mouscron, Courtrait, Tournai and Menin, which gave birth in January 2008 to the Euro-Métropole lille courtrait tournai the first European grouping of territorial cooperation, which has more than 2.1 million inhabitants. Nicknamed in France the capital of Flanders, Lille and its surroundings belong to the historical region of Romance Flanders, a former territory of the county of Flanders that is not part of the linguistic area of West Flanders. A garrison town, Lille has had an eventful history from the Middle Ages to the French Revolution. Very often besieged during its history, it belongs successively to the Kingdom of France, the Burgundian state, the Holy Roman Empire of Germany and the Spanish Netherlands before being definitively attached to the France of Louis XIV following the War of Spanish Succession along with the entire territory making up the historic province of French Flanders. Lille was again under siege in 1792 during the Franco-Austrian War, and in 1914 and 1940. It was severely tested by the two world wars of the 20th century during which it was occupied and suffered destruction. A merchant city since its origins and a manufacturing city since the 16th century, the Industrial Revolution made it a great industrial capital, mainly around the textile and mechanical industries. Their decline, from the 1960s onwards, led to a long period of crisis and it was not until the 1990s that the conversion to the tertiary sector and the rehabilitation of the disaster-stricken districts gave the city a different face. Today, the historic center, Old Lille, is characterized by its 17th-century red-brick townhouses, its paved pedestrian streets and its central Grande Place. The Belfry is one of the 23 belfries in the Nord Pas de Calais and Somme regions that were classified as UNESCO World Heritage Sites in July 2005. The construction of the brand new Eurolil Business District in 1988 and the arrival of the TGV and then the Eurostar in 1994 put Lille at the heart of the major European capitals. The development of its international airport, annual events such as the Brattery de Lille in early September, the development of a student and university centre, its ranking as City of Art and History since in 2004 and the events of Lille 2004 and Lille 3000 are the main symbols of this revival. In 2020, the European metropolis of Lille will be, world capital of design. History, origins, archaeological digs seem to show the area as inhabited by as early as 2000 BC, most notably in the modern courtiers of Fives, Wasms and Vieux Lille. The original inhabitants of the region were the Gauls, such as the Manapians, the Morans, the Atribates and the Nervians, who were followed by Germanic peoples, the Saxons, the Frisians and the Franks. The legend of Lideric and Feinert puts the foundation of the city of Lille at 640. In the 8th century, the language of Old Low Franconian was spoken, as attested by toponymic research. Lille's Dutch name is Riesel, which comes from Ter Ijacel from Middle Dutch Isel, Calque of Old French Lille, itself from Latin Insula, from Insula. From 830 to around 910, the Vikings invaded Flanders. After the destruction caused by Normans and the Magyars' invasion, the eastern part of the region was ruled by various local princes. The first mention of the town dates from 1066, a put Insulum. It was then controlled by the county of Flanders, as were the regional cities. The county of Flanders thus extended to the left bank of the Scheldt, one of the richest and most prosperous regions of Europe. Middle Ages. The Carolingian Duke Everard lived in the city in the 9th century and participated in many of the day's political and military affairs. There was an important battle of Lille in 1054, 
Rainbear of Lille was an early nominalist who taught at Lille. From the 12th century, the fame of the Lille Cloth Fair began to grow. In 1144 saint Sauveur Parish was formed, which would give its name to the modern-day Courtier saint Sauveur. The Counts of Flanders, Boulogne, and Hainaut came together with England and East Francia and tried to regain territory taken by Philip II of France following Henry II of England's death, a war that ended with the French victory at Bouvines in 1214. Infante Ferdinand, Count of Flanders was imprisoned and the county fell into dispute. It would be his wife, Jean, Countess of Flanders in Constantinople, who ruled the city. She was said to be well loved by the residents of Lille, who by that time numbered 10,000. In 1225, the street performer and juggler Bertrand Cordell, doubtlessly encouraged by local lords, tried to pass himself off as Baldwin I of Constantinople, who had disappeared at the Battle of Adrianople. He pushed the counties of Flanders and Hainaut towards sedition against Jean in order to recover his land. She called her cousin, Louis VIII. He unmasked the imposter, whom Countess Jean quickly had hanged. In 1226 the king agreed to free Infante Ferdinand, Count of Flanders. Count Ferrand died in 1233, and his daughter Marie soon after. In 1235, Jean granted a city charter by which city governors would be chosen each All Saints' Day by four commissioners chosen by the ruler. On 6 February 1236, she founded the Countess's Hospital. It was in her honor that the Hospital of the Regional Medical University of Lille was named, Jean of Flanders Hospital, in the 20th century. The Countess died in 1244 in the Abbey of Marquette, leaving no heirs. The rule of Flanders and Hainaut thus fell to her sister, Margaret II, Countess of Flanders, then to Margaret's son, Guy of Dampierre. Lille fell under the rule of France from 1304 to 1369, after the Franco-Flemish War. The County of Flanders fell to the Duchy of Burgundy next, after the 1369 marriage of Margaret III, Countess of Flanders, and Philip the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. Lille thus became one of the three capitals of said duchy, along with Brussels and Dijon. By 1445, Lille counted some 25,000 residents. Philip the Good, Duke of Burgundy, was even more powerful than the King of France, and made Lille an administrative and financial capital. On 17 February 1454, one year after the taking of Constantinople by the Turks, Philip the Good organized a Pantagruelian banquet at his Lille Palace, the still-celebrated Feast of the Pheasant. There the Duke and his court undertook an oath to Christianity. In 1477, at the death of the last Duke of Burgundy, Charles the Bold, Mary of Burgundy married Maximilian of Austria, who thus became Count of Flanders. Early modern era, the 16th and the 17th centuries were marked by a boom in the regional textile industry, the Protestant revolts and outbreaks of the plague. Lille came under the rule of the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V in 1519. The Low Countries fell to his eldest son, Philip II of Spain, in 1555. The city remained under Spanish Habsburg rule until 1668. Calvinism first appeared in the area in 1542, and by 1555, the authorities were taking steps to suppress that form of Protestantism. In 1566, the countryside around Lille was affected by the iconoclastic fury. In 1578, the Hurlis, a group of Protestant rebels, stormed the castle of the Counts of Muscron. They were removed four months later by a Catholic Wallen regiment, and they tried several times between 1581 and 1582 to take the city of Lille, all in vain. The Hurlis were notably held back by the legendary Jean Malo. At the same time, at the call of Elizabeth I of England, the north of the 17 provinces, having gained a Protestant majority, successfully revolted and formed the Dutch Republic. The war brought or exacerbated periods of famine and plague. The first printer to set up shop in Lille was Antoine Tac in 1594. The 17th century saw the building of new institutions, an Irish college in 1610, a Jesuit college in 1611, an Augustinian college in 1622, almshouses or hospitals such as the Maison des Vieux Homs in 1624 and the Bon et Forte Maison des Pauvres in 1661, and of Amont de Piété in 1626. Unsuccessful French attacks on the city were launched in 1641 and 1645. In 1667, Louis XIV of France successfully laid siege to Lille, resulting in it becoming French in 1668 under the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle, 
provoking discontent among the citizens of the prosperous city. A number of important public works undertaken between 1667 and 1670, such as the Citadel, or the creation of the courtiers of Saint André and La Madeleine, enabled the French king to gradually gain the confidence of his new subjects in Lille, some of whom continued to feel Flemish, but they had always spoken the Romance Picard language. For five years, from 1708 to 1713, the city was occupied by the Dutch during the War of the Spanish Succession. Throughout the 18th century, Lille remained profoundly Catholic. It took little part in the French Revolution, but there were riots and the destruction of churches. In 1790, the city held its first municipal elections. Post-French Revolution. In 1792, in the aftermath of the French Revolution, the Austrians, then in the United Provinces, laid siege to Lille. The Column of the Goddess, erected in 1842 in the Grand Place, is a tribute to the city's resistance, led by Mayor François-André Bont. Although Austrian artillery destroyed many houses and the main church of the city, the city did not surrender, and the Austrian army left after eight days. The city continued to grow and, by 1800, had some 53,000 residents, leading to Lille becoming the seat of the Nord department in 1804. In 1846, a railway connecting Paris and Lille was built. In the early the 19th century, Napoleon I's continental blockade against the United Kingdom led to Lille's textile industry developing even more fully. The city was known for its cotton while the nearby towns of Rubai and Torcoing worked wool. Leisure activities were thoroughly organized in 1858 for the 80,000 inhabitants. Cabarets or taverns for the working class numbered 1,300, or one for every three houses. At that time the city counted 63 drinking and singing clubs, 37 clubs for card players, 23 for bowling, 13 for skittles, and 18 for archery. The churches likewise have their social organizations. Each club had a long roster of officers, and a busy schedule of banquets festivals and competitions. In 1853, Alexander Desrousseaux composed his lullaby, Petite Quinquin. In 1858, Lille annexed the adjacent towns of Esquermes, Fives, Moulins, Lille and Wasms. Lille's population was 158,000 in 1872, growing to over 200,000 by 1891. In 1896 Lille became the first city in France to be led by a socialist, Gustave Delory. By 1912, Lille's population stood at 217,000. The city profited from the Industrial Revolution, particularly via coal and the steam engine. The entire region grew wealthy thanks to its mines and textile industry. First World War, Lille's occupation by the Germans began on 13 October 1914 after a 10-day siege and heavy shelling, which destroyed 882 apartment and office blocks in 1,500 houses, mostly around the railway station and in the center. By the end of October, the city was being run by German authorities. Because Lille was only 20 kilometers from the battlefield, German troops passed through the city regularly on their way to and from the front. As a result, occupied Lille became a place for the hospitalization and the treatment of wounded soldiers as well as a place for soldiers' relaxation and entertainment. Many buildings, homes and businesses were requisitioned to those ends. Lille was liberated by the Allies on 17 October 1918, when General Sir William Birdwood and his troops were welcomed by joyous crowds. The general was made an honorary citizen of the city of Lille on 28 October. The only audio recording known to have been made during World War I was recorded near Lille in October 1918. The two-minute recording captured the Royal Garrison Artillery conducting a gas shell bombardment. Lille was also the hunting ground of the German World War I flying ace Max Immelmann, who was nicknamed the Eagle of Lille. Annie's Fall, Great Depression and Popular Front. In July 1921, at the Pasteur Institute in Lille, Albert Calmet and Camille Guerin discovered the first anti-tuberculosis vaccine, known as BCG. The Opera de Lille, designed by Lille architect Louis M. Cordonnier, was dedicated in 1923. From 1931, Lille felt the repercussions of the Great Depression, and by 1935, a third of the city's population lived in poverty. In 1936, the city's mayor, Roger Salengro, became Minister of the Interior of the Popular Front but eventually killed himself after right-wing groups led a slanderous campaign against him. Second World War. During the Battle of France, Lille was besieged by German forces for several days. 
When Belgium was invaded, the citizens of Lille, still haunted by the events of World War I, began to flee the city in large numbers. Lille was part of the zone under control of the German commander in Brussels, and was never controlled by the Vichy government in France. Lille was instead controlled under the military administration in northern France. The departments of Nord and Pas de Calais were for the most part liberated from 1 to 5 September 1944, by British, Canadian and Polish troops. On 3 September, German troops began to leave Lille out of fear of the British, who were on their way from Brussels. The city was liberated by a British force consisting largely of tanks. Rationing came to an end in 1947, and by 1948, normality had returned to Lille. Post-war, in 1967, the Chambers of Commerce of Lille, Roubaix and Torcoing were joined, and in 1969 the Communauté Urbaine de Lille was created, linking 87 communes with Lille. Throughout the 1960s and the 1970s, the region was faced with some problems after the decline of the coal, mining and textile industries. From the early 1980s, the city began to turn itself more towards the service sector. Pierre Moroy served as mayor of Lille for 28 years from 1973 to 2001. Moroy was prime minister for part of the term of François Mitterrand. In 1983, the VAL, the world's first automated rapid transit underground network, opened. In 1993, a high-speed TGV train line was opened connecting Paris with Lille in one hour. This, with the opening of the Channel Tunnel in 1994 and the arrival of the Eurostar train put Lille at the center of a triangle connecting Paris, London and Brussels. Work on Eurolille, an urban remodeling project, began in 1991. The Eurolille Center was opened in 1994, and the remodeled district is now full of parks and modern buildings containing offices, shops and apartments. In 1994 the Grand Palais was also opened for the general public, which is free for the public to enter on the first Sunday of every month. 21st century, Lille was chosen as European Capital of Culture in 2004, along with the Italian city of Genoa. Lille and Roubaix were affected by the 2005 riots, like all of France's other urban centers. In 2007 and again in 2010, Lille was awarded the label, Internet City. The St. Joseph Chapel of St. Paul College was demolished in February 2021. Climate, Lille can be described as having a temperate oceanic climate. Summers normally do not reach high average temperatures, but winters can fall below freezing temperatures, but with averages quite a bit above the freezing mark. Precipitation is plentiful year-round. The table below gives average temperatures and precipitation levels for the 1981 to 2010 reference period. Environment. Lille is noted for its air pollution, with a 2018 study attributing 1,700 deaths per year in the agglomeration of Lille to pollution. In 2018, Lille held France's record pollution peaks. Population. The population data in the table and graph below refer to the commune of Lille proper, in its geography at the given years. The commune of Lille absorbed the former communes of Esquermes, Fives, Moulins Lille and Wasms in 1858, Helms-Lille in 1977 and Loam in 2000. Economy. A former major mechanical, food industry and textile manufacturing center as well as a retail and finance center, Lille is the largest city of a conurbation, built like a network of cities. Lille, Roubaix, Torcoing and villeneuve diac The conurbation forms the Métropole Européenne de Lille which is France's fourth largest urban conglomeration with a 2016 population of over 1.15 million. Revenues and taxes. For centuries, Lille, a city of merchants, has displayed a wide range of incomes. Great wealth and poverty have lived side by side, especially until the end of the 1800s. This contrast was noted by Victor Hugo in 1851 in his poem Les Chattements, Caves de Lille, on Mert sous vos plafonds de Pierre. Employment. Employment in Lille has switched over half a century from a predominant industry to tertiary activities and services. Services account for 91% of employment in 2006. Enterprises. At the end of 2015, Lille hosts around 28,000 industry or service establishments. Main sites. Lille features an array of architectural styles with various amounts of Flemish influence, including the use of brown and red brick. In addition, many residential neighborhoods, especially in Greater Lille, consist of attached two to three-story houses aligned in a row, with narrow gardens in the back. 
These architectural attributes, many uncommon in France, help make Lille a transition in France to neighboring Belgium, as well as nearby Netherlands and England, where the presence of brick, as well as row houses or the terraced house is much more prominent. Points of interest include, Lille Cathedral, Citadel of Lille, Palais des Beaux-Arts de Lille, Jardin Botanique de la Faculté de Pharmacie, Jardin Botanique Nicolas Boulet, Jardin des Plantes de Lille, La Brattery. Lille hosts an annual brattery on the first weekend in September. Its origins are thought to date back to the 12th century and between 2 and 3 million visitors are drawn into the city. It is one of the largest gatherings of France and the largest flea market in Europe. Many of the roads in the inner city are closed and local shops, residents and traders set up stalls in the street. Gallery. Transport. Public transport. The Métropole Européenne de Lille has a mixed-mode public transport system, which is considered one of the most modern in the whole of France. It comprises buses, trams and a driverless light metro system, all of which are operated under the Transpol name. The Lille Metro is a VAL system that opened on 16 May 1983, becoming the first automatic light metro line in the world. The system has two lines, with a total length of 45 kilometers and 60 stations. The tram system consists of two interurban tram lines, connecting central Lille to the nearby communities of Rubai and Torcoing, and has 45 stops. 68 urban bus routes cover the metropolis, eight of which reach into Belgium. Railways. Lille is an important crossroads in the European high-speed rail network. It lies on the Eurostar line to London. The French TGV network also puts it only one hour from Paris, 38 minutes from Brussels, and connects to other major centers in France such as Marseille, Lyon, and Toulouse. Lille has two railway stations, which stand next door to one another. Lille Europe Station, which primarily serves high-speed trains and international services, and Lille Flanders Station, which primarily serves lower-speed regional trains and regional Belgian trains. Highways. Five auto routes pass by Lille, the densest confluence of highways in France after Paris. Auto Route A27, Lille, Tournai, Brussels, Liege, Germany. Auto Route A23, Lille, Valenciennes. Auto Route A1, Lille, Arras, Paris, Reims, Lyon, Orléans, Le Havre. Auto Route A25, Lille, Dunkirk, Calais, England, North Belgium. Auto Route A22, Lille, Antwerp, Netherlands. A sixth one, the proposed A24, will link Amiens to Lille if built, but there is opposition to its route. Air traffic. Lille Lesquin International Airport is 15 minutes from the city center by car. In terms of shipping, it ranks fourth, with almost 38,000 tons of freight which pass through each year. Its passenger traffic, around 1.2 million in 2010, is modest due to the proximity to Brussels, Charleroi, and Paris CDG airports. The airport mostly connects other French and European cities. Waterways. Lille is the third largest French river port after Paris and Strasbourg. The River Dual is connected to regional waterways with over 680 kilometers of navigable waters. The Dual connects to Northern Europe via the River Scarpe and the River Scheldt, and internationally via the Lee River. Shipping Statistics. Education. With over 110,000 students, the metropolitan area of Lille is one of France's top student cities. With routes back from 1562 to 1793 as University of Douai, the State University of Lille was established in Lille in 1854 with Louis Pasteur as the first dean of its Faculty of Sciences. A school of medicine and an engineering school were also established in Lille in 1854, and the University of Lille was united as the Association of Existing Public Faculties in 1896. It was then split into three independent university campuses in 1970. Lille 1 University of Science and Technology, Lille 2 University of Law and Health, and Lille 3 Charles de Gaulle University of Humanities, Social Sciences, Literature and Arts. At the beginning of 2018, Lille 1, Lille 2 and Lille 3 merged to form the new University of Lille. It is part of the community of universities and institutions Lille Nord de France and the European Doctoral College Lille Nord de France. The Arts at Métiers Paris Tech, an engineering graduate school of industrial and mechanical engineering, settled in Lille in 1900. This campus is one of the eight teaching and research centers of the school. Its creation was decided by Pierre-Nicolas Legrand de Larent, 
École Centrale de Lille is one of the five Centrale graduate schools of engineering in France. It was founded in Lille City in 1854. Its graduate engineering education and research center was established as Institut Industriel du Nord in 1872. In 1968 it moved in a modern campus in Lille suburb. École Nationale Supérieure de Chimie de Lille was established as Institut de Chimie de Lille in 1894 supporting chemistry research as followers of Kuhlmann's breakthrough works in Lille. École Supérieure de Journalisme de Lille, journalism school created in 1924. Schema Business School established in 1892 is ranked among the top business schools in France. École pour l'informatique et les nouvelles technologies settled in Lille in 2009. Esme Sudria and e Up settled in Lille in 2012. The ESA École Supérieure des Affaires is a business management school established in Lille in 1990. IEP Sciences Po Lille Political Studies Institute was established in Lille in 1992. The Institut Supérieur Européen de Formation par l'Action is also located in Lille. The Institut Supérieur Européen de Hestion Group established in Lille in 1988. The European Doctoral College Lille Nord de France is headquartered in Lille Metropolis and includes 3,000 PhD doctorate students supported by university research laboratories. The Université Catholique de Lille was founded in 1875. Today it has law, economics, medicine, physics faculties and schools. Among these schools is Institut Catholique d'Ars et Métiers founded in 1898, ranked 20th among engineering schools with the specificity of graduating polyvalent engineers. École des Hautes Études d'Ingénieur, a school of engineering founded in 1885 and offering 10 fields of specialization. École des Hautes Études Commerciales du Nord founded in 1906. EDHEC's MSc Financial Markets Program was ranked number one worldwide by Financial Times in 2017, making it one of the most prestigious financial study programs globally. IESEG School of Management founded in 1964. Schema Business School currently ranked within the top 5, the top 10 and top 15 business schools in France, respectively. In 1924 ESJ, a leading journalism school, was established. Lille is also site of the University and Polytechnic Federation of Lille, a large private educational university that includes a medical school, business school, law school, etc. Notable people. Writers, Jacquemart Guillele, poet, Yvonne Chauvin, writer, winner of the 1970 edition of the Prix Bres. Scientists and mathematicians, Charles Barrois, geologist and paleontologist, Joseph Valentin Boussinesc, mathematician and physicist, Albert Calmet and Camille Guerin, scientists who discovered the anti-tuberculosis vaccine, Yvonne Choquet Bruhat, mathematician and physicist, Jean Dudonet, mathematician, Paul Halles, biologist, Joseph Campe de Fariat, researcher on fluid dynamics, Charles Frederick Kuhlman, chemist professor, Gaspard Temistocle Lestiboudois, naturalist, Matthias de Lobel, physician to King James I of England, scientist, Henri Padet, mathematician, Paul Painlevé, mathematician and politician, Louis Pasteur, microbiologist, Jean Baptiste Perrin, Nobel Prize in Physics. Artists, Rene Adore, actress, Alfred Pierre Agach, academic painter, Alain de Lille, theologian and poet, Charles Joseph Pankouk, intellectual and writer, Ernest Joseph Bailly, painter, Victor Chocot, patron of the arts, Emile Bernard, neo impressionist painter, Edouard Chamat, artist and illustrator, editor of the De Vambez Illustrated Art Editions, Leon Danchin, animal artist and sculptor, Alain Deco, television presenter, Minister, writer, and member of the Académie Française. Desiree Dihau, bassoonist and composer. Pierre Dubroy, photographer. Pierre de Gator, textile worker who composed the music of the Internationale in Lille. Raoul de Gottewerzweld, singer. Gabriel Gravelez, pianist, conductor and composer. Carolus Duran, painter. Julian Duvivier, director. Yvonne Furneaux, actress. Paul Gachet, doctor known for treating the painter Vincent van Gogh. Kamini, rap singer, hit success in 2006 in France with the funny, rural rap, Marley Gaumont. Edouard Lalo, composer, Adelaide Larue, actress, Serge Lutens, photographer, makeup artist, interior and set designer, creator of perfumes and fashion designer. Philippe Noray, actor, Albert Semaine, poet, 
Anna Tijoux, rapper and singer whose family originally was from Chile. Iris Mittenary, model, Miss Universe 2016. Constance Yablonski, model, politicians, professionals and military. Pierre Joseph Duhem, physician and Montagnard. Louis Faderbe, general, founder of the city of Dakar and senator. Achille Leonard, Cardinal des Ouvriers. Charles de Gaulle, general, resistance fighter, president of France. Augustin Laurent, minister, deputy, resistance fighter, and mayor of Lille. Madeleine Dammermann, French resistance fighter, Legion of Honor, Croix de Guerre, Médaille de la Résistance. Pierre Moroy, deputy, senator, prime minister of France, and mayor of Lille. Martine Aubry, deputy, minister, and mayor of Lille. Sportspeople, Maxime Aguay, footballer, Sana Altama, footballer, Alain Backlet, footballer, Nabil Bintalib, footballer, Ismael Ahoui, footballer, Patrick Franchter, ice hockey player, coach and manager, Amandine Henry, footballer, Gail Kakuda, footballer, Clark Nasikulu, footballer, Sarah Ausfar, basketball player, Alisan Playa, footballer, Lucas Pui, tennis player, Alain Ragel, footballer, Antoine Sibirski, footballer, Didier Six, footballer, Jerry Van Dam, footballer, Raphael Varane, footballer, Abdella Zubir, footballer, media and sports, local newspapers include Nord Eclair and La Voix du Nord. France's national public television network has a channel that focuses on the local area, France 3 Nord Pas de Calais. The city's most major association football club, Lille OSC, currently plays in Ligue 1, the highest level of football in France. The club has won eight major national trophies and regularly features in the UEFA Champions League and UEFA Europa League. In the 2010-11 season, Lille won the league and cup double. Lille's Stade Pierre Moroy was the playground for the final stages of the FIBA Eurobasket 2015. The same venue will host handball at the 2024 Summer Olympics as Paris getting the city being part instead football, where the city was eliminated as co-host city. It was in Lille that the 100th World Esperanto Congress took place, in 2015. International Relations Lille is twinned with Cologne, Germany Erfurt, Germany Esch sur Alzette, Luxembourg Haifa, Israel Kharkiv, Ukraine Leeds, England, United Kingdom Liège, Belgium Nablus, Palestine Oujda, Morocco Rotterdam, Netherlands St. Louis, Senegal Tlemcen, Algeria Turin, Italy Valladolid, Spain, Wrocław, Poland, Buffalo, United States.
Then you have magic!